So Professor Liu is going to teach you to chapter three, ah、uh, A three. This assignment we are going to do project chapter three classwork one. We can download. There's an incomplete ah、uh, ah、uh, project ah、uh, zipped project right here. This application will ask user to enter a sales amount right here, and the program calculate the sales tax based on different rate. And we talk about we. Going to do the Los Angeles and Orange County rate.、Right? We're going to update it. Okay. Then, ah,、uh, from now on, we're going to memorize every single application. We need to have option explicit on, so you must declare variables. Option infer of, so your variable must have a data type. Option strict on means you can only assign the same type to same type. Means you can only activate. You can only, um,、uh, you know, have the associate with same type with same type. So we today we're going to talk about procedure type variable, and procedure type use variable use in a procedure like a private sub. This is called procedure. And what we do is we declare at very beginning, right here. The variable will be removed from procedure end. So once you click the button, when you click some other button, the memory will be this、uh, memory will become or、uh, will be removed. And with this type of variable, we declare as a dim. So dim, and ah、uh, as a dim, and all then ah、uh, we are going to take a look this way now. Okay. So first of all, I need you to. Save this one. All right, save and I already save it, so I'm not going to save it. So once you save it, okay, you have to unzip. If you do not unzip, ah,、uh, it doesn't work. Okay, so what you need to do is you coming back to the one ah、uh, you already have it. All right, so you already download chapter three. Ah,、uh, class for one zip, and you must right click it. There's nothing called unzip. Sorry, you have to extract. So、mm, pay attention. Extract to this folder. So you extract to this folder. I already did it, so I don't want to do it. So I extract to this folder. After I extract to that folder, that folder I have it. I can open the folder. Then this time. You can open the solution file. If you did not extract, if you did not extract, you cannot open it. Okay. So we are coming right here right now, and this is your file. You are going to start it, and we say we're going to make a little bit nicer. So let's change it. You don't change it, it's okay, no problem. I won't take out any point, but we're just going to say this. Ah,、uh, calculate. Um, we're going to change this to Los Angeles, L A County. Ah,、uh, tax. Okay, tax, and we are going to L A County is ten point twenty five percent, right? Ten point twenty five percent. All right, so we change this right now. All right, so then we also change this to calculate Orange County. Tax and which is a seven point seventy five, okay, ah、uh, seven point seventy five and percent. Is that right? All right. So we're going to do this right now. So we could click on this one. All right. So before ah、uh, I can do anything, I need to give myself the rules right now from now. So I type option. All right, and ah、uh, explicit ah、uh, on, and option ah、uh, infer of. All right, then option ah、uh, ah、uh, strict on. All right, so these three line ah、uh, these three line are embedding any other language in the C plus plus C sharp and Java. So. If you are doing this type of language, 
they already have that. You you don't need to type. The the once they have that is any other language. If you don't declare variable, you cannot work. All right. So but. Visual as、uh, Visual Basic as a training program, we allowed you to do anything at very beginning. Just let you get used to it. Now we're going to transition you into a uh you know a prepare you to other higher language. So we're going to see this. So we're going to uh I am going to make this thing uh to be halfway so you can see. Is okay. All right. So right here. So、uh, let me let me make this a little bit more down here, okay? So gentlemen, you will see here. Uh, I I need I need to work on this, and this is called text cells. This is called text cells, and this one is called LBL text. So I need to most like I want to work on these two variable. So these are the variable name in the user interface. The thing is, we saw we going to clear uh uh declare variable is in the programming style, all right? And it's a procedure. I I did I click this one. I click on this private sub. So it's dim type dim. Uh, then you say dbl, all right? Cells because it's uh the it's a double. So prevention uh the prefix is dbl. As double, all right. So we got this one right now. Let's do another one. Ah,、uh, dim. Now you see the green wriggling because you don't have value yet. Okay. Ah,、uh, dbl and dbl. Ah,、uh, we're not going to call text two. Ah,、uh, okay. That's two. Ah,、uh, la la text. How about that? La text. All right. Then ah.、Uh, As a、uh, double. Okay, can we do that? All right. So once we do that right now, then we're going to get the value. So boys and girl, we're going to get the value here. Whatever user enter right here, we're going to put in the DBL cells. To be able to do that, you're going to do. Remember, this is double, right? So you start with double. Only retrieve double. All right. Then dar try pass, all right. So boys, from here, who can tell me the name? Remember this name is txt what? Ah,、uh, cells dot. So txt cells and da txt. All right. So you cannot just get the property. You you cannot just get the object. You not need to go to the property level. And I'm going to sell. Save into here from the user into the coding. So DBL cells. All right, so far okay. So now I am going to do this. I'm going to say okay, my DBL、um, LA tax LA tax sorry LA tax will e equal to what? Will DBL、uh, LA tax、uh, sorry DBL cells. Cells, all right. Cells, all right. So, uh, that will be how many right now? Is ten point twenty five, right? So that zero point uh one zero two two five. All right. So far, okay. Let me. Hmm. Yeah. Good question. Thank you. So we got that right now. All right. So we got this, and then we need to put it back. We need to put it back. Is that right? So we are going to put it back right here, and we're going to say this. Ah,、uh, put it back. If I going to put it back, if I say this, LBL ah、uh, text dot txt and equal to DBL LA text. If I do like that. Okay, this is mistake. You see the red wriggling? There's a mistake. You know why? Because DBL LA tax is the double. You see the double? Double don't goes to tax because you have option straight down. So you have to do this. Convert it the、uh, two string. So we're going to change it to string. Make them to have the same data type. 
Now we put it back right now. Understand? All right. So, and this is your first one. Okay, this is your first one. So, uh, we're going to run it right now. Okay, so build it. All right. Let's do start without debugging. All right. Uh, so let's try. We didn't do Orange County yet. So one hundred dollars. So don't click on Orange. Let's do LA County. It's ten dollar twenty five. Oh, that's a lot of money. Is that right? Okay. Now we close it. Then let's continue do the Orange County. Okay, do Orange County. Uh, I'm just going to copy it a little bit because that's the same thing a lot. I'm lazy. Sorry. Control C. And I'm coming to my form here. You see the form here? I'm going to click select my Orange County. Okay. I press enter. So I'm going to do my Orange County right now. This is part of the same. But thing here, I'm going to change to Orange. Orange. Okay. Then um, now I'm going to double try parse. This is the same. And this I need to change to what? DBL orange text. Orange text. So orange text we're going to use um, is what? 0 .0, 0 0.0.0.775. Okay. So that's the orange county text. So once we do that, we're going to convert it back right now. Uh, we're going to use the DBL from Orange County. Control C. From the Orange County. All right. Then, so I'm going to do the exit right now. Exit and press Enter. And it's me, the, close. Okay. Now. Uh, make sure he, you have a label here, but change to your name. Is okay? The here, the label here, right here, the text, put your own name and your ID number. Now we complete this one and let's run this one more time right now. So I'm going to build it. And I'm going to start without debugging. All right. So I'm going to put uh, 100. Uh, fifty-five, fifty-seven dollars. All right. So I calculate these. All right. S now, did you notice? Did you notice I got these? I have four decimal point, decimal point, and I've clicked on that four. So I exit. Does anyone can tell me is a better way? Is a better way to make my answer? Is a better way to make my answer? Uh, to have uh, only two decimal place and dollar sign. Anybody know that? All right. Let me see. So somebody said, yeah. yeah. Uh, we don't do set position now, Scott. That's a C plus plus. That does anybody remember how we do for me? Anybody remember how we do for May? So we are going to do this. Okay. So uh, we um, so we converted to right there right now, but we're not going to. So once we convert it, all right. So we can format it, right? So I'm going to lbl text.txt equal. Uh, can anyone tell me how to do that? Uh, format. And I'm going to format LBL uh, text. Uh, uh, text. All right. Okay. Text. The TXT. Is that right? And with what? Currency. C U R R E N C. Oh, good. You saw you're a good student. You remember that. All right. So if I copy the thing, if I copy the thing to control C and copy the thing to here. All right. So now let me run it one more time right now. Okay. Let me run it one more time right now. So I build it. 
and I start without debugging. All right, I start without debugging. Let me put one hundred uh twenty nine dollar and uh thirty eight cents. So I'm just thirty seven cents. I will try to get something, but now it's thirteen dollar twenty six cents. Now it's ten dollar zero cent with dollar sign with two decimal uh places only. All right, so far okay. Do you understand? All right, so do you understand? All right. So what you need to do, I am going to uh, uh I'm going to stop this and I'll make the vi I'll upload the video for you right away. Is that okay? So I'm going to stop recording.